I'm going to be presenting a case of a robot-assisted transarterial hepatic chemomobilization. So the patient is a 71-year-old gentleman with a history of rapidly progressive gastric cancer with metastatic disease to the liver. The patient's hepatic disease has been recalcitrant to systemic chemotherapy, and the patient's most recent CT scan demonstrated disease progression despite both prior hepatic chemomobilization with drug-eluting beads with irinothecan, as well as systemic chemotherapy. Patient's Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group, or ECOG, uh, status was one. Patient's labs are as shown. Patient's liver function tests are within normal limits. Of importance, patient had recent repeat biopsy and molecular testing demonstrated that the patient's gastric cancer is sensitive to epirubicin. This is a patient's uh, CT scan, which was performed with contrast. As you can see, there are multiple masses involving the patient's uh, liver, predominantly within the right hepatic lobe. The treatment plan in this patient was transarterial hepatic chemoembolization, and as the patient's uh, disease was sensitive to epirubicin, we decided to utilize the M1LC drug-eluting beads loaded with epirubicin as prior chemoembolization, which was performed with irinothecan drug-eluting beads, was not effective for the patient's cancer. The rationale for the utilization of the Magell robotic system was really twofold here. Number one, Patient's iliac artery was extremely tortuous, which made stable access extremely difficult. In addition, rotation of a manual catheter and selection of the celiac access was extremely challenging. Second, during prior chemoembolization, both the iliac and the hepatic tortuosity made advancement of a five French catheter nearly impossible. Furthermore, microcatheter advancement distally into branches of the right hepatic artery just was not possible. These images demonstrate the extreme tortuosity noted in the patient's right iliac arterial system. There is nearly an 180 degree turn of the right external iliac artery. The third image demonstrates that after placement of a stiff guide wire and a long sheath, the iliac tortuosity was strained. However, uh, once the stiff guide wire was removed, the iliac tortuosity was again apparent and bent the sheath, resulting in problems with manipulation of a manual catheter. The utilization of a six French Magellan robotic catheter in conjunction with a long sheath allowed for straightening of the robotic system and st stable access for a subsequent selection of the celiac artery. These images demonstrate the utilization of Magellan six French robotic catheter, and this catheter allows for extreme flexibility, um, allowing for uh, bending of the catheter in any orientation as necessary. And the second video clip here demonstrates selection of the celiac axis, as is done with the manual catheter. The catheter is bent downwards and uh, basically moved downwards until the celiac axis is selected and then advanced into the celiac axis. Once the celiac axis was selected, a uh, celiac angiogram was performed through the Sinks French robotic catheter which uh, shows conventional anatomy here with a splenic artery, a left gastric artery, and a common hepatic artery. These images demonstrate a selection of the common hepatic artery uh, with the robotic system in conjunction with a 035 glide wire. Uh, initially, the splenic artery was selected, but with a small manipulation of the robotic catheter, um, the common hepatic artery was then selected. The second um, video here demonstrates advancement of the six French robotic catheter over the glide wire uh, into the distal common hepatic artery, which was done with relative ease given the excellent stability provided by the robotic catheter. Following advancement of the uh, robotic catheter in the common hepatic artery distally, uh, an angiogram was performed, which demonstrates uh, gastroduodenal artery arising distally. 
Uh, what I want to make note of here is that there are two branches of the right hepatic artery, as uh, demonstrated here, a superior branch and an inferior branch. And we were uh, interested in specifically selecting the inferior branch, which was supplying a lot of the patient's tumor, which just was not possible during prior uh, chemo mobilization as stable access could not be achieved. In this case, with uh, utilization of the robotic catheter, you can see that the microcatheter was able to be advanced into this inferior branch uh, through this uh, significant tortuosity of the hepatic artery. And angiogram was performed and subsequent chemo embolization was performed via this branch. Subsequent CT scan images demonstrate significant necrosis in the patient's treated hepatic metastatic disease as shown on the post-treatment CT images with contrast. Coronal images again demonstrate the significant necrosis within the patient's treated tumor. So in conclusion, the robotic catheter was extremely helpful in this patient in performing hepatic chemobilization. Number one, the robotic catheter allowed for stable access into the patient's tortuous iliac artery, which just was not possible with the six French sheath alone. As previously stated, once a stiff guide wire was removed, the six French sheath still resulted in some bending secondary to the significant tortuosity. And number two, the stable position and ability to manipulate the six French robotic catheter in multiple different angles allowed for easy selection of the celiac axis and advancement into the distal common hepatic artery, which again was not possible with the five French 035 catheter. Finally, uh, the improved precision and stability with utilization of a single robotic catheter eliminated the need for catheter exchanges. Thank you very much.